Hello, this is Dr. J back with the final episode of Let's Play Star Fox 64 as we complete the second half of the hard route. Onward to our next destination, Zonus. So the way Zonus works is there's going to be a bunch of searchlights in the ocean, and if you destroy all of them, you remain undetected. You continue on the hard route and go to Sector Z. If you miss any of them, then you fail, and you fall down to Macbeth on the medium route. So... We will not fail. We will destroy all the searchlights. There's an enemy base there. Affirmative, General. Grimlock. So this is another ocean planet, but this time we're above the ocean instead of below it. So I guess Zonus has been horribly polluted as well. You can't really tell. At least I can't tell. Alright, here's where we have to destroy the searchlights. There's only a couple that are a little bit tricky. Most of them are pretty easy. Uh. You're welcome, Slippy. Oops, screwed up that. Uh, loop the loop. We're closing in on them, Falco. Suddenly, Cat appears. Take the right knife, boy. I have to know. So I guess Cat is the femme fatale of the Star Fox universe from her personality. It's not entirely clear exactly what her role is. She's obviously not a member of the military. Maybe she's sort of an independent mercenary. She obviously knows Falco. Anyway, she's showed up to help us out. So we will gladly accept her assistance. She seems Well, I'm not a furry, so I'll have to decline. You uh you seem like you might be cute if you were human though. Ah. Okay, so this is a little tricky. You have to hit that water wheel to make the gate go up, which means you have to hit the top of the water wheel, and then you have to destroy that uh, searchlight that's behind it. Oh, I do, do I? Thanks for the warning. So yeah, Cat seems to fly some stolen, customized enemy fighter that she has painted pink. Sure, I'll follow you, Slippy. Enemy fighter spotted. Take him down. That was totally pointless. All I did was get myself damaged for no good reason. Oh my god. I do not want to lose lasers. So let's try not to have any more idiotic collisions with the architecture. Oof. Lagging a bit. Hard to hit those guys with those platforms in the way. Yeah, they really don't. This is a long level. Off, 
Jeez, still more of these searchlights. Oh, thanks, Falco. That was a close call, Fox. Looks like we finally made it to the boss. Nope, not yet. Okay, now we're to the boss. Now this guy's a pain because you can only hurt him with bombs. Luckily, you can dis uh, destroy the projectiles he shoots and get bombs from them. But yeah, he's totally immune to the lasers and the charge-up shot. Oops, didn't mean to lock onto that. Kid, this guy sounds like a pirate. Seriously, the enemy bosses have so many awesome accents. I love it. He shoots that giant flail at you. It's a strange weapon. But it'll hurt you pretty bad if it hits, so... Dodge it. Also, those are not torpedoes. I do not think you understand what a torpedo is. Oops. Tried to get that bomb and missed. I'm trying. I'm not doing a very good job, but I'm trying. Hmm. Do I need to be targeting something else first? Maybe. This isn't exactly a difficult fight. It's not too hard to avoid his attacks, but... I don't have down exactly how you have to target him and what order you have to target things. I've been trying to do that. Okay, there we go, finally. Maybe I was just missing. Maybe you need to get a direct hit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -er. Okay. Now maybe I can target the cannons on the side. And now you gotta get the crane, or he'll retrieve the cannon. Okay. Looks like I failed. I thought I hit it. Maybe the crane takes multiple bombs, or maybe I just missed. Yeah, try again. Got it. And get the other cannon. Alright, now he goes nuts, and for some reason the main body is vulnerable now. More hilarious pirate laughter. We got him. I almost feel bad killing such a cool guy. Arr. So yeah, Zonus isn't too hard. Can be a can be a little tricky getting all the searchlights. Cat, clearly a capricious creature, has disappeared as abruptly as she arrived. Can get a lot of kills on this planet. It is cool how there's those various NPCs, uh, Bill the dog and Cat the cat, who will show up to help you out. And that there is friendly forces in some of the levels. It, I mean, it feels very strange to talk about anything being quote-unquote realistic in this game, which is about anthropomorphic animals having a space war. But it feels more realistic and, I guess the better word to use is more immersive when you actually have friendlies fighting on your side and it's not just you against the entire universe. Anyway, onward to the next course, Sector Z. The enemy army is gunning for you. Be careful. Don't worry, sir. So in this level, you're on the defensive as the enemy is attacking you and the Great Fox Carrier. Enemy 
approaching from the left. I feel like you ought to say port rather than left. It is a ship. Maybe they were afraid players wouldn't understand what port means. Nice. Welcome. So we start being attacked by a complete ring of enemy fighters that have us surrounded on all sides. Oh, switch to the wide angle view so we can actually see what the heck we're doing. First part's pretty by the book, by the numbers. Just fly around, lock on enemies, shoot them. If an enemy gets behind you, do a loop. Oh right, rescue Slippy, also very by the numbers. Oh jeez, and Peppy apparently. Alright, let's go help Peppy next. Where are you at, Peppy? Ah. Take care of the guy behind me, I'm trying. Why don't you just do a loop? Okay, th if that makes my torpedo go away, I'm going to be irritated. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Okay. There. Interrupted by a cutscene. So now... Oh, are you still in trouble, Peppy? Well, too bad. I have to save our carrier. So the enemy shoots missiles at it, and you have to intercept the missiles and destroy them before they hit the Great Fox. Alright, let's go save Peppy, I guess? Guess we weren't done saving him? You take a lot of saving this mission, Peppy. I'll bet he did. I'll bet he pulled all the weight on that team. His wingmen were you and Pigma. I'm being too mean. Peppy's cool. Peppy's an old campaigner. All right. So, more enemies appear. Another ring of enemy fighters. All right. This isn't too difficult as long as you know where the enemy missiles are. Oops. That can happen, though. Where uh, you hit the edge of the map and do the U-turn. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That was bad. Okay, now that I'm behind the missiles, it's going to be easier to shoot them. Not again. So Cat shows up to help us again. Which is cool, except when she causes a cutscene that interrupts us helping our teammates. I really wish Torpedo's didn't vanish when a cutscene occurs. All right, I don't, I don't have time to help you, Slippy. I gotta go save our carrier again. Uh, okay, this way. Get off me, you jerk! Not nearly as much as it's ticking me off, Slippy. You're so useless. Come help me out, cat. Be more useful than Slippy. I took care of a missile for you. Thanks. Now that's helpful. One missile destroyed. Ah, he stole my kill. Not a particularly difficult mission as long as you stay on top of the missiles. Just try not to go insane from Slippy constantly whining that he's under attack every two seconds. Little See you, cat. Thanks for the help. You know, you could stick with us and it would be easier to defeat the remaining enemies with another wingman, but whatever. Go do whatever fickle thing you're doing. Rob, is everything okay? Gray Fox is okay. That was a close call. We've got the bad guys on the run. Don't worry, Slippy's here. 
So if you fail to intercept all the missiles, one of them hits the Great Fox, blows off one of its wings, damages the hull, and you divert to Macbeth instead of going on to attack the enemy's main fleet. Which I guess is reasonable if your main character has suffered heavy damage. But, since our main carrier is in tip-top shape, we are diving straight into the teeth of Andros's main battle fleet. Area 6, I think this is called. This is the stage in the game where you can get the most hits of uh, anywhere in the entire game, I'm pretty sure. But it takes practice, so I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near. It's almost over. We're in your debt. Come back in one piece, Fox. Will do, General. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near this stage's point potential. Came in here. No problem. Do you copy? Emergency maneuvers! No problems, you say. Too late. Game over, pal. I'd say you've got four... Well, no, Slippy. Three enormous problems. Part of the reason that I'm not as good at getting as many points on this stage as one would hope is because it requires really mashing on the fire button. And I just, I don't have the wrist endurance with my RSI. Uh, it hurts to fire that fast. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Little frigates are worth two hits apiece. Oh man. Hit me like crazy with their missiles. I am taking a ton of damage. That is the most pathetic scream, Slippy. I need health. Well, when I destroy the ones chasing you, Peppy, the explosion seems to do damage to me, and I'm about dead, so... Oh, hi, Andros. How you doing, buddy? Uh-oh. This thing could kill me. It's gonna kill me. Oh. I did very poorly. That was a really abysmal performance. And now we're down to our single laser. Let's hope that we can refresh our laser. Because this single laser does not cut it. Man, so many enemies get between me and Falco when I'm trying to save him. There we go. Yeah, single laser just does not cut it. Okay, we definitely need that laser upgrade. I'm so bad at this part. Even back when I was a teenager and practiced the heck out of this game, I was bad at this part. Okay, I got more of them that time. Oh, okay, that went well. Did we get them? Not yet, sir. 
Seriously, when I destroy the ones on his tail, they hurt me. Man, my thumb just never gets a break in this stage. Okay, I killed that thing quickly that Oh no, there's another one! Why? They're so hard to hit. Got it. Oh man! Go away! Get the checkpoint. No, I think I just missed the laser upgrade. That was terrible. Was that worth it? I don't know. Well, it increased our life, so I would say yes. Okay, so if you target the bridges of these battleships, you can destroy them. But it's that much harder when you don't have the hyper lasers. How about if you give me some hyper lasers, Rob? I like the enemies increasing desperation as they throw everything, including the kitchen sink, at you. It's pretty awesome. Oh, I missed with that bomb. Thank you. Please make it a laser. No, it's a bomb. I need a freaking laser. I don't even have the most powerful lasers. Uh, getting my butt kicked. Okay, the hard route is definitely harder than the medium route. I take back what I was saying before. It was just a fluke that during my practice runs, I had a lot of trouble on solar. And on my practice run, I had no trouble with this stage, so I don't know why I'm sucking at it so much now. Oh, man. Having to fight this boss with no hyper laser. Yeah. Oh, I did not dodge that for crap. This is not a stage that ever gives your trigger finger a break. In some ways, I don't like it because of that. It's so hard on my wrist. You just have to fire non-stop all the time. If I just had a rapid fire button, this would be a lot more bearable. Man, that doesn't stay vulnerable for long. I was barely able to scratch it. Oh, okay. Didn't even see that that one was coming toward me. Are you guys doing anything? Like, are you guys helping at all? It's like you're just buzzing around, not doing anything. Trying to look like you're busy. Oh, okay. Don't get hit by this. Oh, okay. Um, well. I thought if you just hugged the edge of the screen it would miss you, but I guess you need to do some actual dodging. Now I'm almost dead. We all stayed vulnerable for longer that time and we were able to do some real damage. We have a chance. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Well, I'm quite just buzzing around, literally not doing anything except flying in my line of fire, you useless wingman. Stupid bird. It goes double for you, Slippy.
Can we defeat it this this round of this cycle? Oh god. Alright. I think we dodged it properly that time. I have some pretty cool pretty cool giant super laser. Energy balls become more evasive. Oh yeah, they're dodging all over. Come on. Come on. We did it. You did it! Oh my wrist. My hyper lasers. Oh man. I have to fight the next boss without the hyper lasers too. Now it'll just make it more interesting. So who have we not encountered yet? We're about to encounter them on the hard route. So the gold medal for this level is 300 hits and I had under 200. That is how awful a job I did at exploiting that level's score potential. That's right. It's our old friends. And they're in upgraded fighters. I love killing you, Pigma. Oh, get out of my way, Falco. Shot my allies more than the enemy so far. The pillars make it hard to maneuver here. Man, my allies are getting in my way a lot. I'm trying to hit the enemy and they're just... Good, get out of here, useless wingmen. wingmen. Glad Pigment's down. Notice how they do barrel rolls when they're in these ships. The Wolfen 2. The other one was, of course, the Wolfen 1, the first ship they're in. It's a really cool looking ship, the Wolfen 2. Arguably even cooler looking than the Arrowing. Get off me, Wolf. Can't get away from me, Andrew. I'll take care of you. I'm hit. Ah, for crying out loud. You guys are so useless. I'm hit. Give it up. You can't win. I'm hit. Not yet. The party's got the You've out. hardly damaged Leon at all. What are you doing, Falco? Leon's just owning you. Gee, I've been saved by Fox. How swell. Shoot me down if you can. You're not welcome here. Oh, Falco, are you finally attacking the enemy? Let me help you out. Oh. 
Just one to go. There's one more to go. Yep, I just said that, Fox. Ah, hit the edge of the arena. That's so annoying. Great, that gives him a free shot behind me. Alright, let's let him get close and then do the loop. Andrew, how are you, of all people, the last member of this Star Wolf squadron to survive? You're not welcome here. Give it up. You can't Oops, win. meant to go backwards, not do a loop. Are you guys going to help me out with him or not? What are my teammates doing? Gosh, all the barrel rolls blocking my shots. Finally! Jeez, that took forever. Well, that was a cool duel with Star Wolf. It was fittingly challenging, I suppose. Now, this time, the path to Andros has multiple routes. And the route you take... You know that I the yay, Hyper Laser! Determines how many items you get. Because not every route has the same number of items. Now you will feel I think the optimal route is left, right, left, right, right. If I remember correctly. Oh, that was terrible. I did not remember correctly. Alright, well, we get to fight Andros a bit gimped. At least we have the hyper laser. Let's do what we can. The fight starts off the same. Let's try to take zero hits because we don't have much health. I did not take a good route, and I did not get much in the way of health upgrades, and I idiotically ran into the wall. Okay. But now, instead of becoming a robot... That pun hurts a bit, Andros. So, Andros, you show your true form. So this is pretty horrific and gruesome for a children's video game, but uh, Andros is apparently a giant brain with tentacles and detached eyes. What the heck? Now I'm pretty sure that Andros was just an ordinary scientist to start off with, right? So, we've been encountering a lot of bioweapons. I guess he's engineered himself into this? So you basically dogfight with the eyeballs. And then you have to fight the brain. And most of the brain is invulnerable. You just have to target the medulla, or whatever that part in the back is called. Yeah, we're dogfighting with a giant tentacle brain. It's a little strange. Star Fox goes some interesting places. Uh-oh. Oh, that was not good. What's really bad is if it catches you in its tentacles. Then it, you will take tons of damage and you're basically guaranteed to lose your lasers. And a wing. Uh-oh. He'll teleport sometimes, too. He likes to teleport behind you, but that's fine. Yeah, very strange, rather gruesome and horrific final battle here. It's... I don't know why Andros thought it would be advantageous to turn himself into a giant brain. Alright, well that was pretty easy. It's not an especially difficult final battle. Don't 
never give up, my son. Father? And suddenly, James McCloud appears! He's not dead after all? Follow me, Fox. I honestly don't know what the canon lore is of this. If James McCloud somehow survived, and this is really him, or if it's like an apparition... If it's really him, where has he been all this time? Like, we could have used your help, Dad. What have you been doing? I would have rather had you than Slippy. And we hit the wall and lost a wing. Now we're losing altitude constantly. I'm going to be irritated if I fail here at the escape sequence. I think we're good. I think we made it. You've become so strong, Fox. Where have you been? Seriously, it's never answered where he's been all this time or why he disappears as soon as he leads us out of there. I wonder what the canon explanation for that is. That's our leader. What's wrong, Fox? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Oof. Did not beat the number of kills I got in my practice run through the hard route. We'll go ahead and watch the ending again, even though it's 99% the same. It's a cool enough ending. But hey, this time we defeated Andros for real. He had bioengineered himself into a giant brain, apparently. Again, I don't know why he thought that was a good idea. And it still cracks me up how gruesome and horrific... Oh, there's Cat. How gruesome and horrific and what nightmare fuel that is for a children's video game. But yeah, if, if James McCloud has been alive all this time... And has had his R wing. Where the heck has he been? Why, why did he not return to Corneria and help us out? If anybody watching this knows what the actual canonical answer is to that question, if there is one, leave a comment. I'm really curious. It's almost like the writers just put that in because it's cool and dramatic without thinking it through. Cornerian Air Force, flying in formation, giving us a warm welcome. That's still a very cool cinematic scene right there. The great fox blocking out the sun as it flies overhead. Apologies for my emulator messing up the sound here at the end. I don't know why it does that. And then it just starts freaking the heck out on the frame. <laughs> prefer doing things our own way. Great Fox is ready to go. It's time for us to go now. This is another scene that is purely for dramatic effect and was not thought through at all. 
It's like, hey, this will look cool. Like, what do we do? Park our R wings several miles outside the city so that we could run dramatically across the wasteland and then board them and take off while the Great Fox launches in the background? But yeah, this is an awesome game. It's so much fun. And it's super replayable. As I said early in this short series, as a teenager, I replayed this a ton until I was able to get an incredibly good high score. Nowadays, I feel like I don't have enough time to justify high score chasing like I used to. But it was a lot of fun playing through this again, playing through every stage and all the different routes. As I said, my favorite rail shooter and space combat simulator that I've ever played to date. Someday I'd like to play Star Fox Zero and see if I like it even better. Another game in the genre that could have been really awesome was Strike Suit Zero, but that game is buggy as heck. I got it on Switch and it just straight up crashes a lot. How on earth they think it's acceptable to release a game that has a bunch of crash bugs, I don't know. I think I managed to clear the whole thing even with the crash bugs, and it was a fun game. It's just real frustrating when it crashes in the middle of a level and you lose your progress. And we fly off into the sunset. For the last time. No evil Andros face is going to appear to laugh at us this time. We beat him for real. That was a pretty messy run, but we got there. Only lost one life. Had a couple dramatic close shaves. I am out of practice. That happens when you don't play a game for 20 years. Had the best score on Zonus of all places. Yeah, you can definitely clear 300 kills in Area 6. Man, hurts my wrist too much, rapid firing all the time. This is one steep build, but it's worth it. Ah, at least we got to hear the General Pepper voice over that time. It would be fun to get enough kills to make him go, What? That's, that's not going to happen. Alright, so that's Star Fox 64. There's not too much else to show off about it. I won't bother showing the training, as I said in the first video. It's just a pretty standard tutorial thing. There's nothing exciting about it. Other than that, the only thing even worth looking at here is the verses. I seem to recall I wasn't able to get people to play this with me a whole lot, but on the rare occasions I was able to get people to play versus matches with me, it was fun. There's only like three uh, different levels. Man, there's only two here. What if I go to point match? Does that have more? I'm pretty sure there's three levels. Oh, I'm only seeing two. But yeah, if we, uh, if we launch one of these levels, Corneria. You can see that you get four players split screen, if we actually had four players. But since it's just us, we just fly around by ourselves. Can fly through these arches. Dramatic music plays. We've got this kind of pyramid thing in the middle. Man, if real life cities looked more like Cornarian cities, where it's mostly like green fields and very nature looking, and then just a few high tech buildings scattered here and there, I would like cities a lot more. I don't like cities in real life, I think they're really ugly. Also, I'm kind of a misanthrope. I don't like being around lots of people, so I don't like urban environments. I said it before, but man, General Pepper's face is just plastered everywhere. He's running such a military dictatorship here. It would be pretty funny if it's like, plot twist. Andross's forces are actually the good guys. They're rebelling against the unjust fascist rule of the, uh, of the dogs, of the canines. <laughs> uh, 
that would be pretty amusing. But yeah, I mean, there's not much to show off here since I'm just flying around by myself. I don't have anybody to compete against. But it was pretty fun playing the versus mode. Uh, how do I exit? I don't seem to have an exit option from here. Oh, well, guess that's it then. Guess we're uh, ending on that note. All right. Well, that's been Star Fox 64. A short game, but a heck of a fun one. Every level just feels meticulously handcrafted to perfection. It's fantastic. Love this game. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short playthrough of it. Well, hopefully you'll join me for whatever my next LP is. I'll see you then. Bye!